Welcome to YQ Academy Core Java, nested classes, interview questions and answers. 1. What are nested classes in Java? Nested class is a class that is defined within another class. It provides a way to logically group related classes and encapsulate them within another class. There are four types of nested classes in Java. 1. Static nested classes. These are static class declarations that are nested within another class. They are defined using the static keyword. Static nested classes can access only the static members' variables and methods of the outer class and do not have access to the instance members. 2. Inner classes. Also known as non-static nested classes, inner classes are defined without the static keyword. They have access to all members static and non-static of the outer class, including private members. Inner classes are often used to implement complex data structures or provide a tighter coupling between the inner class and the outer class. 3. Local classes. Local classes are declared inside a method or a block of code. They are not accessible outside the method slash block in which they are defined. Local classes have access to all members of the enclosing class, including local variables of the enclosing method slash block, but they must be effectively final or final. 4. Anonymous classes. Anonymous classes are special types of local classes that do not have a name. They are declared and instantiated at the same time, typically as part of a method invocation or assignment. Anonymous classes are often used for implementing interface or extending classes on the fly. 2. What are inner classes or non-static nested classes in Java? Inner classes, also known as non-static nested classes, are classes that are defined within another class. They are declared without the static keyword and have access to all members of the enclosing class, including private members. Inner classes are tightly associated with the instance of the outer class in which they are defined. There are two types of inner classes. 1. Member inner classes. These are non-static inner classes that are defined at the member level of the enclosing class. They have access to all members of the enclosing class, including instance variables and methods. Member inner classes can also have their own variables and methods. They are instantiated using the syntax. Outer class, inner class inner object equal outer object dot new inner class. 2. Local inner classes. These are inner classes that are defined within a block of code, typically within a method or a scope. Local inner classes are not accessible outside the block in which they are defined. They have access to all members of the enclosing class, as well as local variables and parameters of the enclosing block. Local inner classes can only be instantiated within the block in which they are defined. 3. What is the purpose of nested classes in Java? 1. Encapsulation. Nested classes can be used to encapsulate related classes within a single outer class, keeping them logically and structurally organized. This improves code readability and maintainability. 2. Information hiding. By nesting classes, you can limit the visibility of the nested class to the outer class, preventing it from being accessed or used by other classes in the same package. 3. Code royceability. Nested classes can be reused within the context of the outer class. They can access private members of the outer class, which can facilitate code reuse and improve modularity. 4. Improved readability. Nested classes can make the code more readable and self-explanatory by keeping related classes together.
It helps in understanding the relationship and purpose of the classes. 5. Increased encapsulation and cohesion. Nested classes allow for tighter coupling between the inner class and the outer class. They can access private members of the outer class, promoting encapsulation and ensuring that related functionality is kept together. 4. Explain about static nested classes in Java. A static nested class is a nested class that is declared with the static modifier. It is a nested class that is defined inside another class but has the static keyword applied to it, indicating that it is independent of any specific instance of the outer class. The static nested class has access to the members' variables, methods, etc. of the outer class, including private members. However, the outer class does not have direct access to the members of the nested class. 5. How to instantiate static nested classes in Java. Use the name of the outer class, followed by a dot, to access the static nested class. Specify the name of the static nested class after the dot. Use the new keyword followed by the class name and parentheses to create a new instance of the static nested class. Here's an example that demonstrates the instantiation of a static nested class. In the above example, the outer class contains a static nested class nested class. Inside the main method, we instantiate the nested class using the outer class. Nested class syntax. Then, we call the print message method on the created instance. 6. Explain about method local inner classes in Java. Method local inner classes, also known as local inner classes, are classes defined within a method block in Java. They are local to the method in which they are defined and cannot be accessed outside of that method. Method local inner classes have access to all the variables and methods of the enclosing method, including its parameters and local variables, as well as the instance variables of the enclosing class and are not visible or accessible to other methods within the same class or to other classes. Example to illustrate the usage of method local inner classes, in the above example, the sum method of the outer class defines a method local inner class inner class. Inside the method, we instantiate the inner class and call its print message method. The output will be hello from the method local inner class. Method local inner classes can provide a way to encapsulate functionality within a specific method and keep the code modular and organized. They are often used when the inner class is only relevant to a specific method and does not need to be accessed elsewhere in the class or application. This is the end of our Java interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.